Hi my friends, this is your driving instructor Uus. In this video I will show you how to turn right and left at various junctions. So this time we'll turn right at the junction, at the traffic light. Yes, we check the mirrors and then we indicate and we approach it slowly. You need to pay attention, there is a bicycle lane next to us. So they may go straight or if they want they can turn left themselves. So we have to pay attention to this one also. So we cover both corners. And before we're turning right, we need to look at the mirror and do the shoulder look. And we can do that while driving. Okay, now it's a matter of patience. <laughs> Traffic light is red. So one point more. Um, turning right, it's rather a sharp curve. We stayed, we tagged to the curbstone. So we don't, we don't drive like a bus or a truck driver, we tack to the curbstone. So once the traffic light turns, uh, switch the screen, we will demonstrate. Alright, there you go. So we look the cars, we look outside, let's continue. Yes, look outside mirror, shoulder, and tag to the curbs on stay. And it's clear, right? Alright, there we go. And we continue, we continue direction horn. Do you see the direction? Alright, so let's start looking inside mirror, outside mirror indicator. Exactly. We follow our lane. Follow your lane. See the fat stripes, the fat line there? There we go. The fat dash line, we change the lane. Exactly. Also, my shoulder look. So we check for pedestrians. There's a zebra cross. Is it clear? Great. Look left. Hold on, there's a car coming. Both lanes need to be clear. Let me show you there. Both lanes need to be clear. Now it's clear, right? Then let's go. Take the right, right lane. Yes, excellent. You may wonder why we are waiting for both lanes to be clear. Uh, if there's a car on the left lane, it may change the lane. So that's why we wait for both lanes to be clear. Let's turn right at the traffic light. Yes, exactly. The indicator. Change your lane. Tag to the curbstone. Yes, we continue. Look at the corners. Outside shoulder look. There you go. Yes, that's the bus stop. Exactly. See the speed limit there? So we approach it with 30, you're still too fast, look, you enter it with 40. At that speed limit, you need to have that uh, required speed limit. So if it's 30, you need to be, you need to approach it with 30. See the traffic light? You turn left there. This can get confusing here. We tag to the line, left. See the arrows there? We follow the line and we get on the arrow, exactly. So now we have to stop in a way that we don't block counter traffic and fortunately we see the bus. Great! So you need to stop in a way that you don't block the bus driver. Yes, we approach straight. Just straight. And we stop here at the center. Reference is that lane. So we don't cross that lane. Yes. Is it clear straight? See the cyclist? Let's wait for him also. Then we look first corner and then second corner is clear, right? Alright, then let's go. Excellent! And at the traffic light, we don't need to cover left and right. The traffic light is green for us, that means left and right has red. So we don't bother about that. We need to look at the corners, look for pedestrians and cyclists, and look at the direction we're driving. There comes the next traffic light. We turn left. Exactly. Exactly. 
And let's stop here for a second. Do you see the difference of these traffic lights? Mm -hmm. There's a difference there. We have arrows lights mm -hmm. and no arrow lights. So some arrow, some lights have arrows. The arrow is a friend. So for those who turn left, still red is valid. So we have to wait. Once our traffic light, the arrow traffic light turns green, the rest of the world has red. Everyone stops to wait, observes us turning. So we don't bother about anything. What we do is, we do one look at the second corner, shoulder look. If you turn left, it will be left. If you turn right, it will be right. All right, it's green, let's go. And you see, straight traffic is red, the distance have red, and stop at the line, see the traffic light, it just turned red. The arrow traffic lights, they have a habit, they switch fast. You'll have two, maximum three little cars or vehicles pass, maximum. But to advantage, the traffic light is our friend. You will see eventually, the pedestrians, they will have red. Once our light is green, pedestrians have red. Counter traffic has red. So it's our lane, it's our way to go. After turning left, you turn left again. There is another traffic light. So let's observe this traffic light and have an eye also on the pedestrian. Yeah. So pedestrians have green already, but for us it's red. And counter traffic has also green, but for us it's red. Okay, pedestrians have red, so we should get green in a second. There is green, we go, and pedestrians have red, right? One shoulder look and take Stay left and we turn left again. See these dashed lines? The fat lines? Let's cross it. And again, we have an arrow traffic light. Exactly, and we stop in the way that we don't hinder counter traffic. They should be able to pass us by. That's why we also have a line there. And again, arrow traffic light, the arrow is our friend. Alright, see, counter traffic stops. We can go. One look left and then we go. Excellent. We need to change our lane left, so we need to cover our left. Is it clear left? Alright, then let's go. Perfect. So we're looking at this traffic light. We already see a sign here. And at the traffic light, you can see two arrows. Arrow straight and arrow right. So there's no left turn here. If we turned right, we would have to take the right lane. So those are the signs we need to pay attention to. All right, um, eventually we'll start to implement multiple lanes. We look at that too. If we have multiple lanes turning one direction, let's say we have two lanes turning left. We have to tag to our lane. If you're on the right lane turning left, we stay on the right lane. We shall not change the lane while turning. Drive direction central. Exactly. Change the lane left. Exactly. Tag to the curb stone. And again, arrow traffic light. This is a single lane turning left, so we want to turn left. If there are more than one lane, we have the freedom of choice. Mm -hmm. But uh, in earlier sessions, I explained to you, if you have more than one lane, we take the right lane. Okay, let's go. See, everyone's waiting for us. There we 
get two lanes. Exactly. Very well. But if you get the instruction, you turn left, afterwards you turn left again. Or the examiner may say, get prepared to turn left. That means we should take the left lane. So let's take the left lane, you turn left at the traffic light. And you're too fast. Look, there is also a speed camera. Yes, otherwise we get caught. <laughs> All right, let's turn left. Follow the curbstone. Just go with the curbstone. Go with it. Yes. That takes out uh, stress. You don't have to cover much. You don't, have to, you don't have to worry. There can be nothing. Go. Go enter the junction. And this time we have no arrow. So count the traffic as green. We wait at the center. That's a good example. He's stopping at the proper spot. He's not blocking count the traffic. So we pay attention. Is it clear? I look for a comma. Second comma. Excellent. So the gist of turning left at the junction is we shall not block counter traffic from going straight and we shall enable them turning left themselves. Let's turn left at the next traffic light. Sorry, let's turn right at the next traffic light. I have another spot where I can show it even more in detail. Exactly, we slow down and we pay attention to cyclists. Now, here, if we have a cyclist wanting to go straight, we shall stop at the bicycle lane without interfering with the cyclist. We shall not hinder him from going straight. So if we want to turn right at the traffic light. So before, once it's green, before we do the turn right, we have to cover latest then the bicycles. So we see first corner is occupied, don't block the cyclist, indicate again, we stop at the bicycle lane, we don't cross it. Now cover mirror and shoulder, it's clear, and then we turn right. If we stop on the bicycle lane, eventually a cyclist may approach, and that cyclist is going to get blocked. And that's wrong, we shall not block other participants. So we stop in the way that everyone else can continue. Hi, sorry, let me just... Okay. At the next traffic light, we turn left. Still more down. And once we turn left, look at how fast we can drive. And there we have another wonderful junction, a cross junction. By the way, it's 50 here, let's accelerate. Yeah. We turn left at the next traffic light. So next junction left, we already slow down. There are two stop lines. Halt lines, yes. So now since it's green, we enter the center, roughly here. Ah, oh, great. We shall not block that white car. He should be able to turn in front of us. Mm -hmm. Our reference is again this lane. Let's wait for him. Pedestrians have still green, so he has green, and he's accelerating. But behind him it's clear, right? Mm -hmm. First corner, second corner, and then we turn left. Excellent. That was wonderful. See the speed limit? Hold well on. So I'm repeating. The idea on turning left at the traffic light is don't block out the traffic. Enable them. They need to be able to go straight. They need to be able to turn left themselves. Next light, next traffic light, we turn right. So here's a bicycle lane, cover your sides. Did you cover? Show the look. Here. Here, there is no bicycle lane on the street, but the bicycle lane is there. See where he 
Okay, he could have gone straight, and there is the dashed line. Too bad I cannot draw. Um, eventually, I will draw some arrows there. So there's the reference. If you have to stop, we go to the bicycle lane right there. Alright, the screen, let's go. Cover the sides, exactly. And if there was no one, we would stop right here. At the second traffic light, we turn left. So we need to change the lane already. Yes. And we turn left. The arrow shows us that we can turn left here. Indicator is on. Excellent. Here we will need to worry about counter traffic because there is no one. And we have the arrow also there. So we just turn left. Look at the second corner. Yes, so let's turn left. Excuse the call. Let me just put it on mute. The indicator is a little bit too early, but that's fine, it's okay. I'll indicate now, because people may think we want to enter there. So we have no counter traffic here. So keep your eyes left at the corners. Still someone exactly. So which way which to take? Uh, do we have to take <laughs> the next left? That was what I was said in the beginning. Always take the right lane. If we had a fat dashed mm -hmm. line here, that would mean this lane goes right. Mm -hmm. In this case, it's not the case. We mm -hmm. take the right lane, even if it's occupied, it's mm -hmm. fine. These guys want to turn right, and we follow them. We turn right also. Yes. Yes. All clear, we go. Excellent. This seems a little tricky, so we have an obstacle there. So what we do now is we keep our distance, look past the obstacle. Mm -hmm. If it's clear, we cover our right side. You can already start to indicate. So it's clear straight, right? Mm -hmm. So we cover our back, mm -hmm. outside my shoulder up, exactly. And we pass it by. And we turn right at the traffic light. Sure. Yeah. Does it make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So we turn right at this traffic light. Fortune is red, gives us time to breathe. <laughs> and again, the place, what we do here is there is no bicycle lane next to us, but nevertheless, there may still be cyclists on the street. So they are supposed to drive on the street anyway, mm -hmm. since there is no bicycle lane here. Yeah. So before we turn right, we have to cover ultimate shoulder look. Mm -hmm. And also, we see, before we cover the mirrors, we see there are pedestrians, right? Yeah. Alright, so, pedestrian. Also, we show look, no cyclists, so we go to the next line. Mm -hmm. It is right here. Mm -hmm. We go to this line and we wait here. Mm -hmm. First corner, second corner, mm -hmm. it's clear, let's go. Yeah. We turn left. Exactly. And this one is quite easy. Mm -hmm. The arrow is our friend. So straight is red. Now cross traffic is green. Now straight traffic has green. We can see the pedestrians have green all together. You know, some traffic lights have sensors, right? If you don't go to the lane, to the line, to the bald line, it will stay red forever. Mm -hmm. Straight traffic. 
guess you're right. Go a little closer to the line. To the boat line. And stop now. No? Sensors, they, if they don't detect us, they will stay red forever. Now they have green again. See, that's what I mean. If mm -hmm. you don't get on the line or at the line. Where do you see the line? Stop the line is right there. Uh, I can't see. See, here. see now it's green. Let's go. It's green. You can go. On the left. Good. Give him space so he can align himself properly. And let's go. See the next traffic light? Mm -hmm. We're turn right there. Let's go. <coughs> and again, same old story. If you look at both corners, we see the pedestrians. So, first corner, we see there is a person. Before we turn right, we have to cover outset mirror, shoulder look, and then we can turn right. You can see there is also a dashed line for the walkway for the pedestrian, right? At the traffic light. Mm -hmm. Can you see there? Mm -hmm. See that uh, scooter driver? Mm -hmm. There is the line. So there is our reference. We go there and mm -hmm. we wait there. But before we go there, we have to cover for mm -hmm. cyclists. Outside mirror, shoulder look. Excellent, yes. Outside my shoulder look. When you go to the next line, there it is, exactly. Keep it left already since we have there obstacles. Okay, let's go. Yeah, we fit here, that's fine. Speak. Thanks, my friends, for watching this video. This video is all about turning right and left. Uh, please make sure to watch all my other videos as well, especially if you're going for the test, make sure to watch the departure control in German. I uh, wish you um, best of success in your test and always a fun time driving. See you soon.